have the new creation for this week. So we have been doing a lot of things. We have added full presentation to our all in -Aiden. So it's a lot of work, but it's at the end it's worth it. I have eight new fragrances in this one and stay tuned for the last one because that is something which you should check it out. It's like the best freshie ever. So now getting started with this week's haul of Project Alternative. So the first one, let's start with the Lava. It's called X Tor. Inspired by Tor, you know, the Project Tor. Just Google for Project Tor. It uh, promotes uh, internet freedom and a lot of other things. And this fragrance is Teroni by Ortho Parisi. Uh, people say it's quite close to Black Afghano. This is our artwork. So let's, let's give, give it a sniff because I have been fan of the whole line of Nasamato Ortho Parisi. This is Teroni by Ortho Parisi. Recently hyped up. Uh, cost around over $120 yeah I do get like more like Bocanera sort of feel chocolate along with Black Afghano and yeah there is a Black Afghano vibe but it's very close to and quite redundant to already in Ortho Parisi line there is Bocanera which is like a lot more chocolate and Black Afghano vibe this is Teroni so it is definitely a better version, a little bit sweeter version, a gourmand version of Black Afghano. So if you love those dark winter scent gourmands, this is for you. It's x by Project All Natives, made in India, 50 ml. These are our new dope packaging. Uh, second one, all of them are like top sellers. The second one is called Carbon Rose Oxide. So if you guys have been science student, you would connect with the name. What it smells is like smoky, metallic carbon along with rose here is how the artwork looks like this is the bottle and let's give it a sniff so if you guys have been following Bodacia the Victorious they have this fragrance called Blue Sapphire which was predominantly a rose based scent and then uh, this is their uh, Carbon Sapphire which again goes into $1000, $800 pricing range and this is actually more smoky rose with that jammy rose DNA to it and it's actually a beast mode fragrance so if you love blue sapphire sort of or Aramis calligraphy calligraphy rose sort of uh, fragrances and there's like more depth to it it's called carbon rose oxide third one third one is an absolute banger people have already love it it's called Oud Sinister which is coming after the first variant was called Candy Sinister it's called Oud Sinister because it's even more sinister version of it here is how a bottle looks like it's a red skull a floral skull and this is amazingly good it's yummy it's inspired by uh, Rosa Dao's Sweetie Oud it smells a lot of chocolate I get chocolate caramel Oud it's like very sweet Oud so it's got like all gourmandish elements to it along with Oud and it smells deliciously good so if you guys uh, have been following Dua fragrances, they had a fragrance called Scrumptious, which they had long back, but I don't think they have restocked after a long time. So this is actually Scrumptious, but like our version of it, it's called Oud Sinister, inspired by Rosa Dao, Sweetie Out. Right, next is a hybrid. It's hybrid time, or let's keep it for next. Next is hashtag effects. Why I've been cleaning it? Because when I spray it, there's a lot of droplets and our fragrances have got a lot of oil concentration. For that reason, I have to keep wiping it before showing it on camera. Uh, so it's called hashtag effects. It's white box because the original is a white bottle. It's got a small mandala design in between. Let's spray it. I've already discussed this fragrance with a couple of guys. Uh, this is like plain minimal white packaging with black insert inside. Oof. So this is again falling into Gourmand. So we got like how many Gourmands we got today? So one, two is like Gourmand special episode. Right, so it reminds me of uh, Baccarat Rouge, yes for sure, but with more vanilla, more caramel. It's not straight off Baccarat Rouge, but it's more going towards how Instant Crush is. Mansira Instant Crush is quite different to Baccarat Rouge. So this is more like a niche version of Instant Crush. Uh, sharing the similar DNA, but it's got more caramel to it, uh, more vanilla to it. It's inspired by initial side effects, which has been one of the best niche offerings of this year. It's called Hashtag Effects by Project Alternative. And uh, 
The fifth one on this is a hybrid. It's called Alexa Triple Six. It's already one of our top sellers, two of our top sellers, Alexa and Rouge Triple Six, a hybrid of Aventus and Baccarat Rouge. A uh, lot of people, this is actually coming back on a public demand. A lot of people have been asking us uh, when Alexa Triple Six is coming. So I made a special version. Uh, here it is and it, it smells, it's like better than the samples we did last time because I've put like the best quality of Aventus and Baccarat Rouge in a very perfect ra ratio. I mean, in this blend, if you make Aventus more heavier, it becomes fruity. If you make Baccarat more heavier, it becomes more sweeter. So you have to keep it balanced where it's like fruity and sweet. And, it, and it's amazingly good. I mean, I spray it, I, it brings smile to my face. So if you had been waiting for this bad as scent, go to perfumery and pick it up. We have limited 50 bottles. Now, this was about uh, the today's file. I have three special, three special scents. Uh, we have spoken about them a lot. The whole YouTube is full of it. Two of them is actually, two of them are my previous full releases, but they have been sold out in India. So we have made their MI2 version. The first one being Berong of Bali made in India, MI2 version. Uh, the tops are not yet ready, but this is how the base would be with a similar design, but these are all assembled in India. So it's Berong MI2. Of course, it's more economical coming in 50 ml. All of these are priced. These are now full presentation uh, from 40.99, uh, around $20 to $30, I would say. And uh, the second one is Nocturnal Oud, which is our, this is inspired by uh, Xenia Indonesian Oud with more nuances, which we have added add depth to it. Sorry about that. And it's Nocturnal Oud inspired by Frederick Mall, the night, the whole, the compound itself is so pricey. Uh, we have been able to procure some. Uh, the full presentations are sold, sold out. We have this MI2 versions available on website. It is going for around $24.99 for a 50 ml. But it's absolutely worth it for the quality you're getting. It's like the best Turkish rose along with oud and amber. And we have got better sprayers this time. Uh, previous sprayers have lower of issues, but these are not as good as our full presentation scents, but better, better than the first batch. Now comes the highlight. I didn't, uh, this we mostly did it on Facebook. I mostly sold out 80% of it. We don't have much left, but I would give it a spot. It's like the highlight of the video. So it's called uh, Alexa White. Alexa, you know, was my first launch, so it has been always close to me. Inspired by Creed, one of the freshest scent. And this is actually the new benchmark of the fresh scents. It's called Alexa White. So the whole thing is inspired by white. The top will be also white. It's in uh, production right now. And it's inspired by Office for Men, which is done by another influencer, Jeremy Fragrance. If you check him out, it's uh, made by Alberto Morelas, but this is actually a clone of it, which is 99% close. Uh, I have tested it myself and I actually cannot, I will forget about all the fresh scents after sniffing it. It's the new benchmark of fresh office for men. No one ever have done it. I have limited uh, slots of it. Most of them are gone. So I won't uh, talk much about it, but it's like 99% close, performs well. It's been uh, tested by over hundred people who have tried both the fragrances, they say it's bang on. It's bang on, uh, links in description, limited bottles left. If you have been looking for this in India, check it out. It's Mohit checking out. It's been a long episode. We have been creating a lot of sense going on. So stay tuned for my next episode. It's Mohit checking out.